so freaking cute. You're so beautiful. Me? Girl was looking dusty the other day. Oh, I get so high when I'm around Can touch the sky. Whatever you want. I'm such a neutral girl, like super pretty. You know what they say about right now? We wanted to give it a go, hold on. You guys, these are just the three I chose because I'm such a girl. Uh, I feel like a Barbie. Like, my mama called me a Barbie, you guys. <laughs> Welcome in or welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Adri Land. You guys, we will be doing our makeup today and we will be introducing you to Nail Reserve. They sent us this beautiful package. They have a range of products, y'all. I was looking at the colors on this site. It's so cute. These are vegan nail polishes. We about to see what we got in here. We know what we have. We got their beginner kit. I haven't fully prepped my nails yet, but yeah, we're just gonna add a little color. We had press-ons on before, but yeah, those are going. These are what my bare nails look like, y'all. Like, look, they've been freaking growing. Yeah, we're gonna take care of those nails today, though. We're gonna pick a really cute color. We're gonna see what we have. You guys, this is so freaking cute. Oh, hold up, it comes in a two compartment package. Let's see what's in this compartment. Ooh, I like how they did that. That is so cool. Cute, this is Quartz Rose. Quartz Rose, super cute. We have iced coffee. Super cute. I'm such a neutral girl. Like, this one is called Goddess. Super pretty. You know what they say about right now. <laughs> we wanted to give it a go. Hold on. All the polishes are on this side, and these are gel polishes. We have the base, the base gel. We also have, ooh, the no wipe top coat. Okay. Y'all, we got a remover. I've never used a remover before. Ooh, it has the ingredients, and it also has. <laughs> It has the directions on the bottle. You don't need any papers. This is the remover. Y'all, this is so cool. We're just gonna open up this thing. <gasps> Cause how do they know I've been doing my nails more by myself? Ooh, you guys, okay. So we have a big lamp already. They sent us the mini UV LED lamp. Okay, it's a one button setting. 45 seconds to 60 seconds. Super cute. Love that. If you guys like any of these colors, you guys, we're gonna swatch the freaking colors because I didn't know I picked three. And you guys let me know in the comments what's your favorite color that I picked. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is Quartz Rose. Like, I know you can see what color it is right there, but like, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Nice and gooey. Look at how freaking cute these are. Iced coffee, goddess, quartz rose. You guys, which color do I do? Something is telling me iced coffee based on our makeup look. We're gonna do iced coffee, I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Oh my God, that is so cool. Thank you to Nail Reserve LA for sending me these beautiful items. We're gonna get started. Okay, first we're gonna prep our nails. We gotta get rid of these ugly cuticles. I'll be back. They looking good. All of our nails are prepped. This is a cute little say. It comes with the USB cord and it has some instructions. And oh look, you pop it out. And you pop it out with the power button at the top. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Plug it over here, it's a micro USB. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. We're gonna go ahead and put the base on you guys. Thank you. 
So we're gonna do one more coat. Just because it says minimum two, but it's like really thick, so you barely have to do two coats. So we're gonna apply the no wipe top coat now. These nails are gonna be so cute. So this isn't as thick as the base coat. I'm gonna come back when both hands are done and I'm gonna show you how they look. So these are my nails. Super cute. Not perfect, I'm working on my technique. This goes perfectly with this makeup look. And then you top it off with your favorite cuticle oil. They have so many freaking colors. They're so affordable and there's so many. You guys, these are just the three I chose because I'm such a girl. You guys go check out Nail Reserve LA. I'll leave the details down in the description box, the website and my coupon code. My coupon code is Adrienland. This code is good for 50% off you guys so my coat can be applied for a minimum of two products except the bundles and it will not work if they have automatic promotions on the website go check out the website i'm gonna leave the website in the description box and also my code in the description box don't you just love my nails these are so cute i'm such a girl <laughs> Hello beautiful, we've already done our skincare routine. We will be starting with the She Glam Good Grip Hydrating Primer. We're just applying it all over our face and neck area. Look at how tacky it is, ooh. Now going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, I'm just applying it all over my face. Paying special attention to the specific areas where I have extra texture on my skin. Definitely a lot of texture in these areas for me, so I make sure to pay extra attention. Now we are starting with the Live Tinted Hue Stick in the shade Rise. This is one of the areas I was talking about where I have extra hyperpigmentation. I'm just using a dense brush and stippling motions to make sure I get the fullest coverage out of it. See, it's like it was almost never there. I love this stuff so much, you guys. You know how long I've struggled with this and like didn't know what to do? You guys, this is our first official voiceover makeup tutorial. Aren't you guys proud of me? I'm an official YouTube girl, you know. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta make sure we get rid of that extra little shadow because I don't want to look like an uncle when I'm supposed to be an auntie, okay? We're just blending the edges and everything out, trying to make sure nothing's harsh but me. <laughs> now on to the brows, darling. I'm having way too much fun with this. Y'all, we're just brushing our brows up, trying to make sure everything's in place. We are taking the She Glam. Brows on Demand 2-in-1 Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate. We are using the pencil side to further outline the brow so I know what shape I'm going for. I just pretty much follow my natural brow shape and just, you know, extend it a little bit. Put a little bit of emphasis on the brow ears. Now we are taking the marker side to further define our lines that we drew on our brows. Trying to create hair like strokes. Yeah, it's looking really cute. It's kind of coming together, you guys. I do not like to overemphasize my brow. I like it to look really natural. We're gonna do our other brow off camera. I'm gonna come back and boom, we're gonna carve out our brows. We are taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 385, a more neutral tone. I love to carve my brows out with this. We're using an angle brush to bring that product up to the brows. And yeah, we're trying to make them look sharp, honey, but not too sharp. Now we're just blending out our concealer. We don't want any harsh edges. You can take a smaller brush, but I chose to use a bigger brush so I can get it done faster because I wasn't trying to be here all day. I know you guys want to be stuck here all day. We're just using the same angle brush that we used before to carve out the top part of our brow. I prefer the halo brow effect, but you know, I just like to make sure it's blended out and make sure the lines are pretty late. 
Sharp, honey. Look how good they look. Now we are going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation in the shade Chai. I have been loving this foundation. I know I'm late to the game. I know it's been out for a few years or a couple years, but yeah. Oh, since I'm a sweaty girl sometimes, I don't add any extra product. I just take whatever's left over and put it up there. And yeah, look at how well it blends out. It's so like medium to full coverage. And I love that I don't have to put too much on, but me, sometimes I'm a little extra. And y'all, this brush is amazing. This brush is the It Cosmetics Airbrush Buffing Foundation Brush number 110. You guys, I had to go run. Well, I didn't run to Ulta, but I ordered it when they were having their beauty stills. You guys, look at how flawless this brush makes my face look. You guys gotta go. I bought two of them. Like, oh my gosh. You definitely have to catch these on sale because they are a cute little coin. Now we are taking the Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie Concealer in the shade 70 and in. Y'all, where did they come up with these names? Freaka. <laughs> when I tell you I have been loving this concealer, I love the consistency. I love how thin and creamy it is. It doesn't look cakey either. Like... You guys look. <laughs> okay, so I've been working on trying to contour my nose. So yeah, I didn't used to be a contour girly before, but now I'm working on it. I've been watching people's techniques and stuff and we trying to do makeup for real. <laughs> okay. Not gonna lie, this concealer eats down so bad. <laughs> Y'all, I love how big this freaking doe foot applicator is. Y'all, look at it. Like, and my face is not small, so it really helps me get coverage really quickly. While we are letting our concealer dry down, we will be taking our She Glam Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour in the shade Earthy Sepia. I'm normally a bronze girly, but I've been trying to get into my contour bag. So we're taking like a warmer shade. Cause, yeah, I like the way it makes my face look and yeah, we're really trying to learn how to contour or you know, at least our version cuz honey Woo and then snatch away that chin cuz yeah, we've been eating McDonald's So this brush is Everything I cannot find the specific name for it, but I feel like it came in a brush set check out Morphe's website you guys, look at how easily this is blending. I love this brush so much. Right after this, I'll be using the brush directly on my freaking blush. What? Like, I don't even care if they cross-contaminate. You guys, this brush is shaped so freaking perfectly. I love how it, like, has all the different angles of the freaking brush. You can use it for literally almost everything. But I choose to use it this way. So yeah, like you guys, it gets all in the nooks and crannies, all in your ridges and your grooves and all of that. Make sure you go back and make sure everything is blended. Cause honey, we love a blended face. Now it is time to finally blend our concealer out. I love this brush from Real Techniques. This is the 241 Seamless Complexion Brush. Y'all, I got two of these too, but I definitely need more. We're just bouncing back and forth between using my foundation brush and this brush that I'm using for my concealer because we want it to be seamlessly blended. You guys just watch the process. So even though I left it on there for a long time, this concealer blended like a dream. Look at the freaking coverage. Aren't you guys glad I waited to blend this out? Whatever's left on my brush, I just take it up to my eyelid so you know, so I don't put too much concealer up there when I get ready for eyeshadow. And then yeah, we have makeup on our eyelashes so we're cleaning that up. The key to a flawless complexion is blending, blending, blending. Making sure everything was cohesive and seamless. Wow. 
whenever you think you're done blending, you're probably not. Call me the blending queen, young and sweet only. 33. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not 33 yet. Give me like a couple more months. Now we are taking the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush in the shade On Point because, honey, this shade is on point. I like to put it further up, like right above where I would normally put my bronzer because it just snatches my face and it makes it so cute. Look at the cute little pink color, you guys. Look at how seamlessly that blendy. Like, this is why I love this brush so much. You guys, this is still the same freaking. Y'all, I don't know why I like to put it on my nose and on my forehead, but for some reason, I just feel like it does a little something, something. It adds a little extra dimension and life back into my face. You guys, she's so cute. Oh, this brush, Morphe Lake. I need to know the actual name of this brush. I just looked it up. I can't even find, oh my gosh. I wake up flawless. My face flawless. <laughs> That's because I'm blending like these. Whatever you want. <laughs> Banana brie. So before we go in with this Easy Bake and Snatch setting powder, we are going to blend to make sure there are no prominent creases under our eyes. We naturally have creases there so we're just gonna be taking our powder puff that we got from Amazon they come in a pack of 10 you guys check out my Amazon storefront gently pressing this powder in under my under eye it doesn't really change the color of the concealer that I put under my eye when I use this powder puff it's more of like a soft matte it's not super drying on my skin it's still you can still see the glow seeping through Now we are going over top of that with the She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. I like to use the press side because the loose powder side kind of scares me. It's like stark white powder, but it does not add like a super white cast to your face. When they said Insta Ready, honey, they meant you will be a walking filter. Look at how airbrushed blurred my skin looks. It's so good. To set the rest of our face, we will be using the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil Press Setting Powder in Sheer Deep. King! Can you stand stand? I like to take this powder with a big powdery fluffy brush. I love this brush so much. It's the Ulta Collection. I think it was the Thor one. Yeah, I love big powdery brushes. So everywhere I place that powder, I am going over top of it with the Fenty Beauty F Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 410. I'm just trying to make sure that everything is blended and looking beautiful and airbrushed. And it gives me an extra security blanket because I do like a little extra coverage in the places that maybe my foundation rubbed off a little bit in the process. One of my favorite bronzers, the Vesca Beauty Kissed By Soft Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Kissed By Cabo. Y'all, look at how loved on it is. <laughs> Yo, oh my goodness, I dug my nail in it the other day. Oh my goodness. And I just love how this warms up my face and reinforces the liquid contour that I put on. For powdered bronzer and blush, I love using an angled brush that's in the middle of dense and fluffy. When I put on my bronzer, I like a nice blown out look. So I pretty much, everywhere I put the liquid contour, I just, in the blush, I just melt it all together. We like to take our She Glam X Care Bears Cuddle Time Powder Blush in the shade Fabulous. We like to take it with our Morphe Powder Brush. It really helps us to diffuse the blush and make sure it's not too harsh. You and all them white girls, party of five. Are we drinking a little more? I can hardly decide. I can't believe we really made it. I'm probably surprised. I swear. Oh, baby, I'm 
just something about blush on my nose that I love so much. It's so cute. Girl, that's cute. Ooh. Oh, chef's kiss. Make sure you go over everything with your powder brush again. Make it cohesive and seamless, honey. When I say drench yourself in this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, honey, I mean it. Like, you need to be swimming. And some more. It really helps to lock in your face and to make your face look a little less powdery or a lot less powdery. It just helps everything blend all together. <gasps> Girl! Now we will be going in with the Jay-Z Jigsaw Eyeshadow Palette in Love and Taupe. I really wish I would have kept the paper that had the shade names on it, but we are taking this cool tone brown and just packing it all over our eye with a blending brush in windshield wiper motion. Yeah, get into it, blowing it out at the end. So we're winging it out at the end so we can give us like a little bit of a cat eye look. And now I'm just adding it all over my lid because, honey, we don't have time. We're going to put a whole bunch just all over the place because <laughs> it's super cute. Like, look how it instantly makes my eyelid a little more put together. And we're going to take this slim, like tapered blending brush and we're going to pack a darker, deeper brown to the end to give it a little bit more dimension, adding it to the lower lash line. To bring it all together this is super cute you guys look at how i lit yeah. taking a denser pencil like brush we are popping a little bit of that healthy color in our inner corner to give us a little you know to make our eyes look a little more awake and then we're going to also add the same color to our brow bone to make everything look nice oh yeah you guys it is so cool i used to love like a shimmery brow bone color but y'all <laughs> now i'm grown up look at how cute that looks you guys like instantly put together Now we are taking the top double take awake micro liquid liner and brightener We are taking the liner side, I'm trying to make sure I'm in frame and stuff, cause you know, I'm new at this, but now we have a better setup. So yeah, if you looked at my She Glam um, <laughs> video, you guys, oh my goodness, like my setup was all out of whack, but isn't this instantly better? I've been working on things and I got a new camera y'all. But anyway, back to the wing. I'm still not great at wings, but sometimes, yeah, they're a lot better than others sometimes. Like, they'll be super sharp. And, yeah, other times they just get super messed up. Like, the more you spend time on it, the bigger and bigger it gets. And then there's no going back. <laughs> Unless you remove it completely or you just add a little concealer to correct it. Ooh, cut up thin. I can't guarantee you that these twins, I mean, I can't guarantee to you that both of these are gonna be twins. They're definitely probably not even sisters. So now we're using the brightening side. You guys, look at how awake I look. Clearly that's what it's called, but look at how doll-like it makes my eyes look. Like you just instantly put it in your waterline and you're like, ooh. But yeah, somewhere I went wrong because, yeah, my eye ends up getting really red. Look. Okay, so L'Oreal sent this to us a while back. The L'Oreal Paris tele Telescopic Lift. Y'all, I cannot talk today. Anyway, y'all, it grabs every single lash and it lifts them. I don't even have to curl my lashes, but we're going to add some lashes anyway. So these lashes are from I Envy by Kiss and we're also using the Kiss Lash Glue Liner. I love adding this on top of my regular liner instead of just using it as a liner because then I don't have to drag it all the way across my eye and waste it. But it dries very quickly. I add a couple layers just to make sure the lashes are secure 
and yeah it's not gonna dry set me so cute so since my eyes are pretty wide and kind of big I don't really have to cut my lashes so really I just place the the longest part I place it at the end of where the corner of my the end of my eye is Woo, y'all that's a mouthful but anyway it's so quick with this liner glue like I used to hate putting lashes on because I'm like I don't even know what I'm doing oh, that's cute y'all I do not know what was up with my eye but for some reason it stayed red throughout the whole rest of the video Oh my goodness, you guys, look how fluttery these lashes are. I like lashes that are like wispy and like a good length. I don't like things that look too crazy. I like it to accentuate my eye, but like not make my eye look closed. So I'm just pinching my lashes together so they adhere to the normal natural lash. I like how this makes the lashes look like one. Like it doesn't look like you got spidery lashes. And I will be all up on this thing all day. Oh, so cute. Mm. So we're just gonna hit the bottom lashes real quick. I like how the lash brush is sturdy. I like how uh, if your eye itching a little bit, you know, you just hit it with that mascara and it don't itch no more. I know this is a lot of steps, but I promise it'll be worth it in the end, y'all. Okay, I'm just reinforcing the snatchage you know i'm trying to make sure that i don't look oily because i know it's been a while since i i applied this powder <laughs> girl mm -mm -mm. Kissing off what little lip gloss I had on and we're using the MAC lip pencil in chestnut. I like to sweep my brush over my lips so that when I apply the lip liner that yeah that it'll stay. So I don't really overline my lips I just take it where I you know I like defining my cupid's bow and all of that. I don't run over the top like you know that looks good on some people but I don't know how it would look on me. Cause I'm like, you know, my cupid's bow is so prominent. So I'm just like, hmm, I don't know if it'll work. We're also taking cork so we can create a gradient ombre lip. Like, it's going to be so cute, y'all. And then we're taking the She Glam Dynamat Boom Long Lasting Matte Lipstick in High Key. I need to make sure that the liner doesn't disappear behind the lipstick so you know just be a little careful but you can always go back and fix that now i'm just blending it out with my finger mm. and oh that looks mm. good on me mm. now we are going back in with the wonder beauty lip retreat oil in the shade tan lines i loved it so much y'all like i didn't even need the lipstick i could have just wore this by itself when i tell you this lip oil is so moisturizing Oh my goodness, it stays on all day, like, chef's kiss. You guys will love this. On to the hair portion, bye! Get this off so that I can uh, make sure it's, it's blending. The, it's the little thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. 
Hell yeah. Well, done being sad. Mmm, yeah. Mmm. Fix this. <sighs> oh yeah, that's cute. Mmm, mmm. Looks so much better than the other day. <laughs> Oh my god, King. Let's do it. Ouch. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So freaking cute. Me? Girl, I was looking dusty the other day. You really want to wear this boneless wig? I'm down. Girl, I snatch it off so fast. I got another wig. <laughs> The face is eating like I am so proud of myself y'all I've been using new techniques <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more makeup tutorials you know this was just like my simple everyday soft glam look you know I did my nails and the face is still eating like I love you guys so much if you love this makeup look you guys look for the details down below Thank you guys for joining me today. We will be doing more. We should do at least one a month. And the hair, you guys, this wig is from Clay here. <gasps> oh, but look at how pretty the curls are, you guys. I can't eat myself. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, we are so cute on camera. Like, for real. <laughs> When I tell you what you mean to me Chemistry Intimate memories Every time I give you Also, let me know what kind of looks you guys want to see out of me I am not a professional But I mean, I'm pretty good at what I can do What do you think? I miss wearing makeup every day You guys, give me a reason I can't wait to do the one brand tutorials Like the full face Ugh I've gotten so much better because I got a new camera <gasps> and a better setup. You guys, I look so freaking cute. Like, I got two different lenses. Girl, now I'm a two lens girl now. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. You guys let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me too because we're not just a haul girl. We have other tricks and trades, okay? Uh, I feel like a Barbie. <laughs> like. My mama called me a Barbie, you guys. Not them seeing that my hair boneless, hold on. <laughs> Stop! I can't. <laughs> okay.